Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. So today I want to share with you my personal journey on how I became a full-time digital marketing manager without any degree, a powerful network, or even a polished resume or portfolio. So if you've been wondering what it's like to succeed in digital marketing without formal education, then this video is for you because I have been there and I hope my story inspired you. So let's dive right in. I landed myself my first paying digital marketing job back in 2021. So I am gonna give you guys like a backstory of how I got to that point and what happened after. So I remember back in 2017, 2018, I moved from my home country to Ghana, where I currently stay to study. So when I got here, I decided not to go right away to uni. I decided to take up a diploma program in software engineering. Well, I am a full-time tech student. I study information technology at bachelor's level because that have always been like a dream job for me or something but things change uh so yeah i remember going to the school and back then i was also like a hobbyist content creator i was just creating content for fun i wasn't making any money from content creation at the time i just felt the need to like put my creativity out there so i wanted to put myself out there i started getting involved in youtubing and photography and just like being on multiple social media platforms and just learning about each of these platforms as i go along i quite remember sometime i even had a wordpress blog but i didn't really know what wordpress was about so it was just you know so um when I started attending this uh, software engineering diploma institution or whatever it's called, I remember I had this, like my classmates were really supportive. I would go to school and I would talk to them about my YouTube channel and how I'm going to create content when I get home and all of that. And they were like, we're going to subscribe, we're going to see what you do and all of that. And at the time I was making fashion content. So because I was able to not shy away from putting myself out there or anything like that, that actually helped me get to a point where I could get myself a digital marketing job. So I remember after I left, back in 2020, I finally decided to go back to uni and I started from scratch. So I was in my first year when I got my first digital marketing job. I remember it was in the second semester of my first year and I clearly clearly remember that day because it was a lot to deal with I remember that day it was in May I got a call from one of my previous classmates from my diploma program and he called me i was frustrated that morning because i was trying to submit an assignment and my computer was not being nice to me at the time so i just didn't know what to do i was frustrated and then the call came in and he was like there is a job placement available um i need you to get dressed show up at this place and go for the interview i was like but i don't even have like a cv or anything like that he's like don't worry about it just show up so i got dressed and i went but fun fact it was the school that i actually attended for my diploma program so they decided to incorporate digital marketing into their curriculum so they were looking for like a digital marketing trainer or consultant or whatever you might want to call it um so i went there but whoever that did the interview didn't know me at all i had to go to like proper channels to get this job so i showed up for the interview wore all black because that's my favorite shade and then i went for the interview so when i got there the guy was like where's the cv and i was like i don't have a cv and he was like if you don't have a CV, why are you here? I'm like, because someone called me and told me that you guys were like looking for a digital marketer and all of that. And I just wasn't ready. I got the call this morning and he was like, okay, since you show up, we're going to see what you're made of. 
So he started asking me questions about digital marketing, what do I know about digital marketing, and then I started talking about SEOs and blah, 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 blah. And he was like, you know a lot, but you need to show us something as a proof. At the time, my YouTube channel was doing way better than now. I'm sorry, not sorry. But my YouTube channel was doing way better than now. At the time, my subscriber count was really low, but then my view count had improved because I decided to join a specific niche that wasn't really saturated and my videos were really performing. I had like 3K views, 4K views on, okay, that is already exaggerating, but I had around 2K, 3K views at the time on some of my videos. So I was like, okay, here's a proof. Um, I'm a youtuber you can check out my youtube channel and he was like okay stay right here we're gonna search and then he searched I popped up in the search he was like okay that's good and then he searched my youtube channel and he saw that my videos were doing really well so because of that he started to ask me like how did I get the views and all of that and I was like search engine optimization niching down and all of that I explained so he was like okay you have something to show for it so I want you to go home and I want you to write a note about introduction to digital marketing and you're gonna come back on Friday because the interview was done I think on Tuesday or Wednesday it's like you're gonna come back on Friday and you're gonna teach so I was like okay so I got home I was excited I called my friend I told my friend what happened and Friday I made my notes and Friday I went there and when I got there, they were like, here's your class and all of that. And the guy who took me through the interview decided to sit in the class to monitor my teaching style and everything. And then after I was done, he called me upstairs. He was like, we need to sign you a contract. You're fit for the job and all of that. And that's how my journey to becoming a better digital marketer started. So after that, I t taught in that institution for like one year, four months, I think. During the time that I was teaching, I realized that I wanted to do digital marketing. I was really, really interested in doing digital marketing. So I decided to take up online course to get a certificate. And the online course that I actually did was the Google Online uh, Digital Marketing and E-Commerce Certification Program. So I did that. It was supposed to run for like six months and I did that in under two months. And the reason that happened was because my teaching materials was a lot more similar to the e-commerce and digital marketing specialist certification program so most of the things that i saw wasn't really new to me so i was just like scan through notes and just like take the exam move on to the next and i was able to finish my certification program in less than two months so i got the certification program but that didn't end there i started taking courses like meta certification um, google garage i think it's called google garage programs under digital marketing i did one i think the credential just expired so i have to like re sit that again but i was constantly just like searching online trying to improve my skill and i still do that because digital marketing is like a forever learning um landscape like things are constantly changing there are new um approaches and all of that so it's like you're constantly learning So when I got my certification for digital marketing, I decided to quit my job. It wasn't because of the certificate, but I just decided to quit my job. It was affecting school and all of that. And I quit for a while. And then after I quit, I got into freelancing where I was helping people to like create content, sometimes building marketing strategy, helping them with write-ups and all of that. And I got bored. So I applied for a contract with Fiverr where I was also one of the content creators who was testing Fiverr um, app while I was in beta mode. So we were using like the platform to create content, um, animated content for 
TikTok and Instagram and blah blah blah. So after my contract, I got rid of the account that I created and all of that. But I worked with Fiverr for three months, and after that, my life was just my life. I was still freelancing, and then. <laughs> At the beginning of this year, right after I quit, like right after my contract with Fiverr ended, I got a call from the rector at my school. And the rector at my school was actually the former rector of my diploma program school as well. So he called me and he was like, we're looking for a digital marketing manager and we need you, you're fit for the job. So I need you to come over and go through interview and all of that. And I just, I don't know, like I haven't really like, okay, maybe it was only Fiverr that I applied for, but I haven't really like applied, applied for digital marketing roles like that. So I went and we went through the interview. He had already sent in my CV and everything. I went through the interview and I was kind of like a bit cocky, but that's another story for another day. We went to the interview, I was supposed to come back, we did another interview, I did a couple of um, background check on the school's social medias and all of that, like their platforms, what needs to be improved and all of that. And then when I went back for the interview, the second interview, I told them what I have observed and what are some of the changes that we can make. And I got the job and now I am a digital marketing manager and PR person. I don't know, but I just love my digital marketing title. So yeah, so yeah, I got um, the digital marketing manager job and I am currently the digital marketing manager at the school that I attend for my bachelor's degree in information technology. So yeah, that was what happened. That happened and here we are. And now I'm thinking about going back into full-time freelancing as well because a girl needs the money. But it's forever learning if you are someone who wants to venture into digital marketing and you're wondering if you need like a full-time formal education. I don't think so because the space is big. People are looking for people every single day because new things are constantly emerging and people need someone like you and I in the space. If I could get like a digital marketing job without any formal education in digital marketing at the time, so can you. All you have to do is just improve your skill. But now you have the information, maybe you can actually start taking online courses and all of that. So in one of my previous video, I talked about courses, how to become a digital marketer if you are just starting out or as a newbie. So I'm going to link that in the card. And I'm also going to put that in the description down below where you can actually check it out if you want. And I also have like a free CV template that I'm going to link in the description down below that you can actually like just use as a guard to build yourself a digital marketing CV. So I hope this video inspired you to start your journey and I hope this was helpful and informative. So I'm going to see you guys in the next one. I am excited to share more of um, such content like this with you guys. I will see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to improve your skills and I'll see you in the digital marketing field. Okay, bye.